All right, guys, welcome back. In this video, I want to go through how I clean the NVIDIA drivers off of my CPU rig, my GPU rig here. This is a test rig uh, and how I use the DDU uninstaller. So first thing you have to do is basically disconnect from the internet. I know if you're, if you're remote connecting in, it might be a problem. I had to move this rig over to my switch, my KVN switch, so I could just do it without the internet. The reason being, Windows will automatically update the drivers if you remove them. Even if you go in and say to the um, security settings on Windows 10 and say, do not allow the third party hardware to automatically install, Windows will still go and update the uh, graphics drivers. It doesn't listen to that setting, so it's very annoying. So I just take off the old cat cable right there, hasta la vista, and then uh, I go over to Windows, I hit Windows R, you get that, type in MS config, type that in now, do it, go up here, you need to select boot, do it, do it now, and then I already had it selected, but you just hit safe boot baby, and then you say, you go apply, okay. It's gonna ask you, do you wanna restart without exiting or exit without restart? I set it backwards. I just go restart and we restart up in safe mode. So let's do it together. This is a fun time. Great time to be alive when you're booting in safe mode. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna run this DDU uninstaller to take off all the NVIDIA drivers. I just did it, but I left the ethernet cable plugged in even though I was in safe mode and if Windows went and updated to a like a six month old uh, NVIDIA driver by default and then I tried to install my driver I wanted my NVIDIA driver says oh you can't dude sorry eh. Windows is already installing it so that kind of irked me so I just said oh yeah let's just unplug let's just unplug the old Ethernet cable I downloaded this thing you can go find it just through DDU driver you'll find this application and you unzip it and you dump it into DDU, DDU something. And then I just go in here and you click on this little puppy, the uninstaller, blammo, it's gonna come up. It's gonna give you all this stuff. You select your device type, uh, Japayo, and you go NVIDIA for my case. And then it goes through, I don't click any of this other stuff. It tells you what it found. Uh, let's see, wow, it found this stuff too. What is that? Why did it find a 6600 XT? That's where, so you see it, I have a lot of turds out here. Look at that, it found that one, it found, ooh, I might want to clean the NVIDIA's out too, I mean the AMD's out. All right, so I'm just gonna do one at a time, I don't get freaked out here. So we're gonna do NVIDIA. See, I go down these rabbit holes. Uh, and GPU NVIDIA, and just go ahead and clean and restart, highly recommended, and it's gonna go through its little, oh my God, I'm trying to do this with an iPhone. It's going to go through its little thrashings and clean everything out. Uninstall NVIDIA driver, execute setup API, remove. Please wait and take a few minutes. HD audio removed, removed from device, to be removed from device manager. Executing driver store cleanup, monitors hidden, monitors reviewed. Driver store cleanup, removal of NVIDIA Optimus upper filter, setup, all this little crap you would never think of. And just uninstalling it from device manager doesn't remove all this stuff. And it even cleans up your registry, which um, which may have some TDP, temp temperature dye, I don't know, something high temperature settings. You uh, It cleans out as well. So that's what I'm doing. And now we're rebooting. And it's probably going to reboot into safe mode. So I have to go and disable safe mode and start up normally without the internet yet. Because I want to install my driver. I don't want Windows to tell me what it thinks it needs. All right. Here we are. Ooh, look at that. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Da, 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 da. Four, two, two, four minute video Let's try to make this short come on windows big money big money big money oh boy oh we were not doing safe mode oh there it is so when you see the I, I there you go you see safe mode up here look at that can you see that safe mode so again you do win, uh, window key r ms config oh my gosh boot we go to boot 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 and we say unclick that puppy apply okay same thing restart 
and let's come up in normal mode with Ethernet cable out. All right, all right. Thanks for spending this time with me today. How's everyone doing out there? We doing good? We, we laying low, making money, mining crypto? While the world's burning, baby, keep mining crypto. Let, the, let everyone else go crazy while you focus on your mission. That's what I say. All right. We are up, and let's see, I'm going to go to my device manager. I'm just curious. Oh, display adapters. Look at that. Perfect. It's not installed. I did not see NVIDIA, even though I have a 3070 Ti installed. That's good, and it's still spinning. I hate when, it's, I hate when that thing spins, man. It makes me nervous. All right, let's go to folder where my crap is. Downloads. I'm going to use the most latest and greatest. I downloaded it earlier. That is from the NVIDIA site, the driver download, latest Windows 10 3080 series device driver. Single click it. This is so exciting. Yes. And there you go. That's where we're going to put it. Boom. Now, let's see. You got to get through this one screen. It's going to do all this crap right here. Saves this file to your computer. Then it's going to determine if it can actually do the install. And that's where it will barf. If Windows is already downloading a driver for you, an NVIDIA driver, and you try to run this, you're going to get this upcoming screen, maybe. You have to get past the upcoming uh, screen where it says, yeah, let's go ahead and proceed. Otherwise, you can say, sorry, there's already another installation occurring. You go, ah, oh, crap. Then you got to go unplug the internet and you know, do all the stuff I just showed you. Come on, big money. This is just a clean and simple way, a clean and simple, a pure way to make sure the drivers are out and you're putting new drivers in. And there's no little NVIDIA turds floating around that may uh, screw up your GPU mining. Uh, that way you kind of know and you're starting from a clean baseline. This is good. I made it past it. I just go NVIDIA graphics driver. Agree and continue. I do express. They usually know what's best. And this is all that's going to be to it. I'm not going to hold you up. Seven minutes is enough for this video. Just showing you the steps that are written all over the internet, but I always forget them, so I'm making a video so I can refer to my video, short and sweet, and that's all you need to know. I'm going to have the latest drivers installed, and I'm going to go back to mining and see if I get better performance on my card. If it does, that'd be awesome. If not, at least I know I have a clean driver, and I also know I have some AMD driver turds out there as well. So if I want to go back and uh, flush those turds, I will, but right now I'm worried about NVIDIA because this is what I'm testing on this rig. All right, there you go. Go forth through great things, guys. I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye. Woo.